going to continue with our next programme tonight, Jeremy Beadle and Beadle's About. Wrap the presents, dress the tree and enjoy the fun on four with Smith and Hercules, Sharky and George and Legend of White Fang. Four kids witness a robbery and join in the search for the booty in Strangers. Treasure! Your favourite stars, Rick Mail. Grim Tales. Take That, The Party. And lots of Christmas stories. This is the spirit that brings Christmas joy to children. Merry Christmas, Santa. Christmas holiday mornings on four. Says, can I have your autograph? Oh, yeah. Which one's your mum? <laughs> yeah, can you hold that? There you go. Oi, kid, what's this? <laughs> Robinsons. Anything else just isn't tennis. Riding along in my automobile. If you use petrol without detergent, this is what can happen to your engine. Carbon builds up, a major cause of poor acceleration, bad starting, and higher fuel consumption. That's why all Shell petrol and diesel has a patented detergent formula. Used regularly, it helps stop carbon building up, giving much better performance. Riding along in my automobile, my baby beside me at the wheel. Use Shell Advanced Petrol. Kiss at the turn of a mile. You can tell when it's Shell. Hey, Dad, these new Milky Ways are mega light. Look, they even float in milk. Don't talk alien. Everything floats in space. Not when you switch the gravity on. <laughs> See? Must be that new light whipped white center. Yeah, it's cosmic. Mm. Dad, what's the time? Oh. <laughs> huh? So light, it won't ruin your appetite. The Remington Microscreen Elite. Shaves as close as a blade or your money back. And the Remington Air Purifier helps remove tobacco smoke and odors from the air. Hey, aren't you the guy in the Holston Pills commercial who says all the sugar turns to alcohol? Uh, no, you are. Fona, the electrical store from Denmark, has a unique approach to buying called Easy On. There's no deposit, you can make monthly payments, you can get full service. And if you get tired of a product, you can give it back. Fona, Christmas sale, on now. Think of Tasty Court Brussels sprouts. Two pounds at just 59 pence. Think value, think go on. Is Ultra Lenore so much softer you can see it? After washing and tumble drying, unconditioned towels and Ultra Lenore towels were given to Carly and Keeley to put it to the test. Well, no doubt about that. It's true, fair and square with no tricks, Ultra Lenore is so much softer you can see it. ITV tonight, 8.30. Oh, fine. Any, um, any vegetables? I'm afraid we haven't got alphabetic spaghetti. <laughs> Second thoughts. Yes, indeed, that's in half an hour's time at half past eight tonight, so with James Bowler and Linda Bellingham. Don't forget, at nine o'clock, the last in our drama series, All or Nothing at All, with Hugh Laurie and Bob Bunkhouse. That's at nine. But now, watch out, because Beatles about. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Look through tonight's long list of laughs. Tell 
Anne Marie is spooked by RTV Spectre. <laughs> Alf goes ape when hippies hijack his home. And Andy gets soaked in our suit surprise. <laughs> this gorgeous lady here is Anne Marie Dawkins. And believe it or not, this is her mum, Melva Dawkins, who told us all about her. We sent Anne Marie along to babysit for our strangely sinister schoolboy in his Chamber of Horrors. Oh, goodness. Here's Anne Marie coming to babysit. Right, yes, this is his dad. Hello, Damien. Damien, this is Anne Marie. <laughs> Damien. Damien. <laughs> Damien. <laughs> Damien, this is Anne Marie, and she's going to come and look after you. I'm just okay? going to stay here till your yeah. mum comes. Is that right? Hi. Oh. <laughs> 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 you frightened me. Oh my God. A little bit of a joke so here, well, Damien, aren't you? Oh well, that's great. I'll see you when I get on Marvel. <laughs> that's fine. Well, it's long. Damien's time. aunt is leaving. Where's she gone? She's gone on holiday. Yeah, we too. You don't know? No? Ah. Oh. See the rest of what you've got. What's in that coffin? Is there a dead body in there? Oh, Jesus. Dead body. Dad. You're dead. Oh. While we distract Anne Marie, Damien's heading for a secret exit. Can you repeat that? Sorry. Six four one. Yep. Five eight oh. Six. He's gone. Two five eight oh. What Amory doesn't know is that Damien has a twin and he's being prepared for a surprise TV okay. appearance. Where's Damien? Where's he gone? Talk to me, please. <laughs> Tell me, where's Damien, please? I can see you clearly. He knows all about Amory. <laughs> and I have strange powers. <laughs> I, I know everything. Your star sign is Virgo. I know all about you. <laughs> Don't move. Stay still. Your mum's name is Melva and your father's name is Johnny. At home they call you Annie. You want to be a professional singer. Don't you? Now, can you please tell me first thing? I haven't got a clue. Damien, somewhere around. Hey, Damien. I can help you be a singer. Can you? Sing to me. OK, hold on. Um, baby. Bring back the first Damien. I have no idea. Look at me. Look at me. He's here. He's been on the other side. <laughs> do you believe in ghosts? Yes. You do? Yes. <laughs> Ghost. I've seen one. Well, I've seen two now, then. I'm Damien, too. I'm the ghost of it. Great. Guess who? <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> oh, my God. That's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> Oh, 
It's a great pleasure to introduce you to Alf Thomas and his wife Sylvie and their daughter Sharon, who told us all about them. When they arrived at their beloved caravan for a holiday, they found our new age travellers had moved in. <laughs> Here's Alf's caravan with one of our new age travellers. Here comes Alf and Sylvie to spend the weekend. <laughs> Yes, please, mate. <laughs> Sorry? My bed. What? That's my caravan. Is it? Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> well, I'm just getting some sun, man, you know? Yeah, but what's the caravan doing open? Well, it was open when I got here. <laughs> it's my caravan. Excuse me, mate, please. It's all right. I mean, it's no, it's no, it's no problem. Mine. I just don't mind it because my missus in there, you know? Yeah, I know, but if you can just stay out for a minute, mate. No, it's my caravan. I know, I know, mate. it's getting chased, you know. I couldn't believe this. Well, no, it's, no, it's no problem, man. <laughs> it's our new age missus. Oh, it's well. So it's a guy, it's a guy's sister. I see yours. Hi, it's really nice. <laughs> uh, well. What? You know. Oh, expecting I didn't know. I know, no, oh, chill out, mate. Look, mate. No? Oh, uh, some guy's he's getting heavy, man. Why, you know? know. Why don't you just come in and join us? <laughs> well, why do you come and spend the weekend at my caravan? Is it all right? Well, don't you... mind, do you? Well, I mean, we was planning to spend the weekend here ourselves. Oh, but... you? Oh, we're going <laughs> I mean, you know, I just... just get out. Well, there's no need to get like that. Oh, I... How did you expect me to do? I want you out. Yeah, we'll go. We're going. Sunday will be gone, man. <laughs> <laughs> Our neighbours come to help. What's he saying? Please, please just wait. It's my caravan, mate. I know. He and wants to get in his But you have to respect thing. people's privacy, yeah, you know? Yeah, well, it says... <laughs> <laughs> I respect your privacy in a minute. Well, then let me go in there. I've got my wife in there, right? Want to get in there? Yeah, you can and go relax. in. You can go. Well, well, my daughter wants to get in My wife wants to get in there. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'll get in there, please. Oh, Carl. Oh, Carl, look. What's, what's your wife doing in my caravan? I don't want to tell you that, man, because it's not nice. <laughs> Roy has been a naughty doggy. Oh, nice. <laughs> Do they want you to go in? Oh. <laughs> Heavy. Sorry, he doesn't normally do that. His ass trains. Yes, my babe, Roy. That is heavy. That is. Oh, babe, I wish you'd just stress him out. Just stress him out. It's my babe. Stress him out. Don't touch my caravan. Oh, Roy, you being there, but not in my caravan. Because I don't want you to be in my caravan. I want to be in my caravan. Because I don't want you in it. But we're not doing anything. You mean you're not doing anything, We're not mate? Doing well, you anything. broke into my caravan, you throw my cushions out on the grass with dogs all over them. <laughs> you mean? Not doing nothing. But that wasn't us, that was the dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's your caravan, that's why not. Well, what the dog's doing? Cow. Right, look, get in there now, mate. Right, hang on. I just no, I don't want to hang on, mate. I just want to go in right. my caravan. Right, but you've got to listen to me, man. Yeah? Well, I haven't got to listen to anybody. You're going to stay outside. And I'm on my holidays just like you are. I, I can't because I'm having a party here tonight, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've got friends coming yeah, up. Yeah, you think? All the neighbours have come to help. Uh, just call yeah. it. Just let them talk. Just let them talk. Oh, just let them talk. Oh, he's had a look, man. He's, he's had a look, man. I'm not trying to lie to you, look. I just want to get in. He's in. Oh, oh, what am I going to do? Listen, get in there. Right. Don't right. right. mind, Roy. OK, man. Right, let's have some of this gear out here. Leave that from there, man. You leave it. Look, you just come out and talk Stevie. now. Open the door, Sil. Go on then, open it. Open the bottom one. Well. What do you think you're doing, Stevie? Don't right. let him touch that. Whoops! 
Duff's mates grabbed one of our hidden cameras, but he doesn't realise it. <laughs> it's the man from the council. Just had a telephone call from the police about uh, an alleged unauthorised occupancy. Can you tell me about it? What, what, what's the problem? Yeah. I've just come down from the way and try to get my caravan and newspaper in it. You have proof of ownership? Yeah. Where? Is the... Where's your proof of ownership? Where is it? Where yeah. is it? In the house. Where do you think it is? Well, that's... <laughs> you just said this in here. I didn't say it's in the house. It's just in the caravan. So we got your worth. I just... Right, really. Yeah? No, these people do have certain rights. And I'm... I'm sorry. There's a Forcible Entry Act of 1977 here. If that proves you're in the right, we'll go, man, yeah? Yeah. OK, you read it out. You read it out. I'll read it out. It's, it says here, the property owner is under legal obligation to house homeless persons. <laughs> if you leave your door up. Look, don't, I don't like it any more you than you do. Like it's it. not my fault. It I says, it says, it like says that. here... Under <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah, look, I'm... <laughs> I'm afraid you have... You've got full entry. He said they've got every right. They've got every right, according to you. He said they've got every right. Thank you. So, right. So, yeah. we're in our rights. You're in your wrong. Out. <laughs> well, can we go to town? So, we're all invited. Why don't we fetch a bottle? <laughs> you give him a 50 quid back. Don't talk to me about adults, mate. Don't talk to me about adults. Why? We're two adults than you. You dare. Than you. <laughs> would it help if they tidied things up a little bit? Is that no, what's the problem? No, it would just help if they go. <laughs> <laughs> help yourself. Don't want it. I didn't say I didn't want it. Who wants a beer? The neighbours are starting the party early. <laughs> you guys will start the rain now, darling. We've got some music. We've got some music. Let's have a rave now, then. We're all taking our booze, right? Fancy a drink? Take right, booze. Don't you're worried about your property, but you're Nothing. quite happy to let them take all our booze and drink. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? I'm sorry, but I'm trying to sort something out. Yeah. These people. Don't give me all that. Get out of my way. These people have established squatters' rights, and furthermore, you seem to have. I want to be able to hear what you're saying to Nothing to do with what I'm saying to him. That's it, you talking about me? Oh, shut up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on the steps. You ever heard anything like this Wally standing here with one thing? <laughs> personal abuse won't get you anywhere. It's not personal abuse, yes, mate. Yes, it is. It's the truth. <laughs> Do I, do I take it? Go away! Do I take it? Go away! Get off him, step. Do I take it? When, 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 when do you see the magistrate, mate? Excuse me, is this, yeah, is no, this your property? I'm, I'm just sat. Well, please, if this friend, isn't your property, friend, please. Friend, I'm trying to sort things out in, in, in an amicable way here, yeah. but he's... When do you them, look, please, please. I'm sorry, please. Oh, you're sorry. Go on, <laughs> well, what, what is it that's upset you about it? I don't want him in here! I'm the only chance you've it's got... It's PC Beetle. <laughs> I'm... I'm... Oh, you... What's the oh, you dirty oh, animal! Oh, great. Ladies and gentlemen, what a smashing couple. Alf and Sylvie Thomas. <laughs> Take a look at this. And he's got a bit the biggest, biggest <laughs> I've ever seen. Is this true? <laughs> well, you must know what's on your desk. Show them, show your stomach. I don't know the lady. I don't know where she's got the information from. Well, show me your stomach. She knows you. Oh, yes, we have got. And if you want to know what that was all about, join us after the break. Hot 
Workers mayhem in the high street Rather like last days of Pompeii From the Neaton to West Byfleet Our finished shoppers join the fray Frantic butlers, desperate sweeties Grab a socket set for Uncle Sam Replacement bulbs and last ditch napkins Better get to Woolworths while you can All the things that you've forgotten Nestle snugly on their shelves Shopping needs and be so rotten Go and make it easy on yourselves Get to Woolworths, get to For Christmas, Woolworths is right up your street for more than a generation, people have trusted Panadol. Now there's new Panadol Ultra, a powerful pain reliever that helps combat pain like dental pain, a thumping headache, even migraine. Panadol Ultra helps take care of pain with two pain relieving ingredients at the maximum level you can buy without prescription. Panadol, pain relief people trust. about a nice DJ with black velvet lapels and rather cheeky return cuffs. Hello? You having problems, mate? Frankly, since the end of the world, the bottom's fallen right out of the ready-to-wear market. Well, there's no point in worrying about it. Why not help me look for this? The amber nectar. The golden throat charm. It's the end of the world! Who's going to wear dinner jackets, right? <laughs> this is hit, pretty baby. No, I'm going away for Christmas. Going away? For where? Um, Turkey, Paxos. Bye. Hey, Dad, these new Milky Ways are mega light. Look, they even float in milk. Don't talk alien. Everything floats in space. Not when you switch the gravity on. Oh. <laughs> See? Must be that new light-whipped white centre. Yeah, it's cosmic. Mm. Dad, what's the time? Oh. <laughs> huh? So light, it won't ruin your appetite. If you buy an electric central heating system now from Northern Electric, you won't have to pay until later and we'll give you a free three-year warranty. The amazing taste of new Bacardi Breeza. Yes, a touch of sparkle and crisp fruit juices in three refreshing flavors blended by Bacardi for the amazing taste that makes everything extraordinary. Just try Bacardi Breeza. ITV, tonight at nine. On the run. I'm not a common. I loathe my son and I despise him. All or nothing at all concludes tonight. Have you ever been mistaken for somebody else? Well, this is what happened to Andy Hopgood, who was set up by his lovely wife, Shirley. Andy and Shirley were enjoying a romantic meal when our surly waitress mistook him for an old flame who'd done a runner. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Enjoy your meal. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Got here at last. Here's Shirley. Yeah. Here's Hello. Andy. Good afternoon. Thanks very much. Thank you. And here's yes. our stroppy um, waitress. Minestrone. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Is that you, sir, for me, sure. Those are the main courses. Oh, all right. Those are the starters. <laughs> <laughs> Order some wine with your meal, yes, please. Okay. Some white or red? Uh, red preferred for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
thanks so much. It's lovely. Thank you. I wonder where this is headed. <laughs> what are you doing? Why have you brought her here? Is it? That's my boat, you want? Oh, is it? Oh, is it really? Can we get this sorted out? Who Why have you brought her here? Why have you brought her here? <laughs> Why have you brought her here? Because you come out for a day out. Oh, yes, and you thought you'd come and humiliate me? I don't even know you. Don't say that to me. You don't recognise me. No, I don't. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? She's obviously a banger. What about the Prince of Wales Club of Does that mean anything to you? Prince of Wales. The Prince of Wales. No. That's where you met me. No, I didn't. You really don't recognise me. We don't know, Shirley. Was it when you was on the lorries? No, I don't know. Yes, he was on the lorries then. Was he? I don't know. Yes, he was. Shirley. You trifled with me. You trifled with my affections. You got me joking. You did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you saw Well, up I really remember. Good. I don't know you. How long has this been going on for Why you? Why have you been going on, Shirley? <laughs> Why are you hurting me so much? <laughs> Why are you denying our love? <laughs> no, you, you're a Alan Ben woman. <laughs> You just f back into my life. Ridiculous. You just walk back into my life and then you deny what, what we had together. How long have you been seeing oh, her? Stupid. I've been married to her for 20 years. <laughs> what about when you used to stay with me? Huh? When you used to stay with me? Are you a manager? Yes, I certainly am. May I inquire as to why Can your wife is throwing soup over you? This is a respect respectable hey, establishment. It's your I will not have the rest of the your waitress threw it over me. Well, I can find that very difficult to believe. My waitress has been with me for eight now. years, and I have no reason to believe that she would act in this irresponsible way. <laughs> you want to, you know... Who's this? Check on her a bit. Is that your husband? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. May I inquire as to what is going on here? Obviously, something you is going on. You gave this to me eight years ago when you yeah, declared your undying I'll love for me. Love, don't be dying. <laughs> I'll tell you something else that he's got as well. Oh, I'm sorry, but he's got, he's got some, oh, some moles on his skin. Oh, you see. Oh, is this well, true? He, can she see through your shirt, I suppose? And he's got a bi the biggest, biggest <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> You must know what to do. Show them your stomach. I don't know the lady. I don't know where she's, she's got the information from. Well, show me your stomach. She knows you. Oh. Just show me your stomach. 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 I told you he's got moles on well, his face. Well, I'm very sorry. Yes, we have got moles on his face. Well, I'm sorry. 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 Well, I'm sorry.
called the Ricky Out Boy. Right? And this is you, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right? Look at that, eh? Do you want some soup? <laughs> Oh, there. What a lovely couple. What a great performance from Shirley. She was absolutely marvellous, but wasn't he amazing? Ladies and gentlemen, Andy Hopgood. <laughs> That's all we've got time for tonight. But before we go, take a look at this. No, no, no. Give me my salesman! All right, go. coming up shortly on Beatles About. Please, please remember to keep your lovely letters pouring in. We can't make the show without your help. But don't forget, watch out. Next time, it could be you. Good night.